Imagine training where the sun warms the land only a few months a year, where bodybuilders actually work full-time jobs, too. This is what it's like in the provinces of Quebec and Ontario, Canada, the setting for the Eastern Canadian Championships. First in the women's lightweights was 20-year-old Kathy LaFrancois. In her first year of competing, this native of Quebec felt she was getting too old to compete in other sports. Trainer Mark Nadeau helped transform her already lean body into a winning physique through intense powerlifting techniques. And they now work together as wholesale distributors of clothing and supplements. In the middleweight class, another Quebec native defied the standard by defeating some much younger women. Colleen Cooper started training when her husband opened a gym six years ago and has just recently started competing. A background in baseball and aerobic dance prepared her for the rigors of bodybuilding training and now she plans on earning her pro card in her newest venture. Runner-up in the women's heavyweight division uses a traditional Canadian food for her protein source, horse steak. Andre LaMadeleine works as a technician in a pharmacy and started training because she admired the look of bodybuilders' physiques in magazines. Perhaps one used to be called American Muscle Magazine? Taking the heavyweight and overall women's titles was Thunder Bay, Ontario's Laura Carolan. This is her fourth overall victory in as many contests. At 18, she bought one of Rachel McLish's exercise books and proceeded to build a physique that will most likely turn pro soon. A social worker who feels that bodybuilding helps break the ice with the juvenile offenders she works with, Laura also feels that Canadian bodybuilders have to be total standouts to get recognition in America. Third in the men's lightweights was shredded Bob Carrier, also from Quebec. His awesome arms and quads give away his background in powerlifting, and his deep leg separation is a result of a lifetime of playing hockey. Runner-up in the lightweight division was a man who decided to diet down a class to come in sliced to the bone. Green Bay, Quebec's René Laplante had great quads, but needs more upper body size to do better next time. Lightweight winner Stephen Copperthwaite was making a comeback after a layoff from competition and did the honorable thing by winning his class. He was urged into a local gym six years ago by a handicapped friend and immediately saw results. He is the strictest dieter he knows, writing everything down meticulously. Employed as a supervisor of internal audit, Stephen's athletic background includes gymnastics and long-distance running. Look for him at next year's Canadian Nationals. Runner-up in a tough middleweight class was hometown favorite Chris Claremont. This was his first show as a middleweight because he was sick of dieting down to make the lightweight. He had won the Western Canadian lightweight class in 1989 and is following in the footsteps of his father, a master's competitor who oversees all aspects of his training. His mother handles Chris's diet, so getting ready for contests is truly a family affair. Winning this class was a thickly developed Joe Forte from Montreal, Quebec. Sporting the best calves in this contest, he admits when he began, he was a wimp, standing 5'1 and weighing 105 pounds. Two years of heavy training saw him 75 pounds heavier and no longer the target of bullies. Joe is a two-time Mr. Montreal and also competes in couples competition with his wife, Linda Chowski. Second in the light heavyweights was a man who placed the same at the 1985 Canadian. Roger Levelier, co-owner of Jack and Roger's Muscle Gym in Montreal, looked incredible, more like a guest poser than a competitor. It's hard to believe this guy isn't a pro yet. He won his first contest 10 years ago after only six months of training. He finds that spending all day in the gym can make it hard to get motivated sometimes, but obviously he still trains intensely. First in the light heavies was Montreal's Claude Groove, who captured the middleweight and overall titles at this same contest in 1986. A security director, he started training 12 years ago to overcome insecurity and to get bigger. Claude quickly grew to love the sport and is a sure bet for next year's Canadian Nationals. Third in the heavyweights was an actor who trains with IFBB pro Henderson Thorne. Toronto's Frank Jezik used to race motocross and took up bodybuilding to better control the bike. He recently appeared in a commercial for RC Cola and dieted a full 14 weeks for this show with obvious results. Second place in the men's heavyweights was also a former motocross racer. After breaking his back in that sport, Bob Wetherill began bodybuilding as a means of rehabilitation. 
He works each body part only once a week to allow for maximum recovery, and apparently this radical method works for him. Winning the heavyweight class was Chateau Richer's Christian Gendron, thick at 5'10 and 220 pounds. His size is an advantage at the adolescent jail where he works, and his job also makes it easier to fit in his customary six meals a day. The battle for the men's overall title was intense, but no one could match the light heavyweight winner Claude Drew for symmetry and condition. Thanks to promoter Larry Champagne and his French-speaking co-MC Jack Chevrier, the Eastern Canadians was a huge success in more ways than one. Canadian bodybuilders are getting better every year, and though this isn't Canadian muscle, we'll be sure to continue showcasing these hard-working athletes.